Hi and welcome back. Um, as always, if you don't understand something, feel free to pause the video, rewind it, watch it as many times as you need, uh, go back into the book, you know, reread the book, and if you still don't understand something, feel free to call an instructor or email them, and we'll be happy to go over it with you. All right, we're almost finished here with our section on uh, markups, markdowns, and break-evens. Um, pretty much all we have left is three topics to cover and they're relatively easy. In this part we're going to cover a conversion of markup percents and we're going to cover markdowns and then we'll have one more video on break-evens. Okay? So let's get started here with conversion of markup percents. Um, when you have a, a percent markup on cost or you have a percent markup on selling price um, you can convert to one from one to the other. So uh, basically, uh, if I have a percent markup on cost, I can convert it to percent markup on selling price. And if I have a percent markup on selling price, I can convert it to a percent markup on cost in order to use those percentages, you know, to help figure out the rest of uh, the markup things that we know. It all depends upon the information that we're given. Okay? Again, you don't want to be memorizing this. You want to uh, try to understand the concepts, and you know what we've covered in the past. We had been talking about percent markups, and and uh, on cost and percent markups on selling price. But what if you're if you're given one and you don't know the other? Well, you you can convert, and then uh, be able to figure out the problem in in itself. Again, word problems, right? So in order to do this. Um, yeah, we have two formulas. We can go from cost to selling price and selling price to cost. And in doing that, when you're converting uh, for markup percentages, all it is is basically a ratio. Okay, Something in the numerator divided by something in the denominator to convert. So if I'm given a uh, percent markup on cost, you know, I put, and I want to know what the percent markup on selling price is, um, I put the markup on cost in the numerator, and then I divide it by 1 plus the percent markup on cost. If I was given the selling price, I put the percent markup on selling price in the numerator, and I divide by 1 minus the percent markup on the selling price. Now, I, I keep stressing that you don't want to memorize. Uh, here's two more formulas that you could memorize, but if you understand um, the what's going on, then it saves you from the memorizing and you're not going to forget because you understand something. You know, go back to the pizza pie, you know, here's ten slices, six are taken out, how many left over? Four. You understand that. You don't have to memorize it because now all of a sudden, you know, you're being given, say, a dozen of eggs and, you know, there's only eight eggs left in the basket. Oh, I can't find it in the book. Uh, because why? It was pizza pies and not eggs. Oh, well, you know, if you understand, uh, you can convert, you know, to work with the information as much as you need. Here's the same thing. If you notice and you compare the formulas, you know, it's something in the numerator and something in the denominator, a ratio. That's all we're doing when we're, when we're going to convert. But also notice that in the denominator, I have 1 plus and I have 1 minus. Well, think about it. You know, my selling price could be $100. My cost, say, is 60. Okay? Well, if I if I know my cost and I want to convert to my selling price, why am I adding? Because I have to go from as an as a thought, as a helpful, you know, thought to remember this to understand it, I'm going from something lower and I have to increase it to get to a higher price. Okay, so I'm going from 60 to 100. That's why when I go from cost to selling price, it's a plus. Conversely, when I have $100 as the selling price and I my cost is 60, right? I know my selling price and I want to find out my cost, ah, I need to be decreasing, right? Because the selling price is greater than the, the cost. That's why I'm subtracting. Okay, so I'm not going to plug in numbers and work through the formulas here. Uh, we've already know how to do that. That's basic math. We've seen that a lot of times. But just understand that that's what you know. Here's the two formulas, 
and this is how you try and you know understand them so that you can use them so that if you didn't have a book and you weren't able to look it up ah cost the selling price I know I have to put cost in the top and one plus because I have to increase in the denominator and vice versa for the selling price okay all right so I hope you understand that so let's move on and we'll go into the next uh, topic here which is our markdowns okay um, we have percent markdown and a percent remember per, this is no different than the percentage of you know percentage markup on cost and selling price we're talking about percentages how do you convert a decimal into percentage one over I mean something over something right um, you know I have 10 slices of pizza you know six are there how many pizzas how many and what's the percentage of slices of pizza that I've uh, I haven't eaten 60 percent why six in the top 10 in the bottom divide to get the percentage percent markup on cost percent markup on selling price something in the numerator something in the denominator okay markdown percent is no different because we're talking about percentages we put something in the numerator and in this case we're going to put the dollar markdown and in the denominator we put the selling price so if I want to know what my markdown percentage is if I was in the store and <clears throat> the original price was a hundred dollars and today we're going to have a sale and I'm marking it down uh, twenty dollars right what's my percentage markdown sure the store is gonna most often say oh yeah twenty percent off okay but if if you saw an ad um, you know like if you're trying to compare one store with another right um, you, you know one store has something that's uh, you know and I'm just going to use odd numbers here without doing the math to give you some idea All right, and I'll come back to this 120 to do the math but let's say um, store A up here had something on sale for $135 and today they're selling it for 117 and over here a store has some you know the same item um, which was you know they had it for hundred and forty one dollars okay and today they're selling it for uh, hundred and twenty two how would you know which one is the better deal okay you're saying oh well yeah you know this one costs five dollars you know I'm paying five dollars more than this one yeah uh, you know that's one criteria but if they're pretty much the same but there is some slight difference okay let you know maybe you get an accessory or something with it or you know, an additional part or whatever have you you don't necessarily just strictly make decisions based upon price you you kinda want to know oh, well, how much am I gonna save well you, you know in this case here um, you know you're saving what uh, 19 bucks 29 bucks 19 bucks right and over here uh, let's let's make this nineteen dollars also so I take nineteen from that so that's what six this was on sale for hundred and sixteen dollars right Not hundred and seventeen to give you a better idea what I'm talking about here okay I start out with hundred and seventeen but let's say this one is hundred and sixteen okay I'm both of them I'm getting nineteen dollars off but which one is the better deal that's where you want to think about percentages what percentage is this that is being marked down versus this and then you're able to compare the two to see which is the better deal because you're getting a greater percentage All right so without going through the math that's difficult okay if I had an item that's a hundred dollars uh, for the original sales price and it's being marked down twenty dollars well to do the math I have my markdown is twenty dollars and I'm dividing it by the original sales price of a hundred right that's point two right times a hundred gives me twenty percent right no different than doing any other percentage the markdown percent is the dollar markdown over the original selling price that ratio there to convert from a decimal you know decimal numbers to a percentage twenty percent and that's all there is for markdowns okay so 
in this particular video, which has been relatively short, and the next one probably will be also, you know, we cover the, uh, the converting the percent markups on cost uh, to selling price or from selling price to cost, and we covered our markdowns. Right? Um, if you have any additional questions, feel free to you know, telephone and speak with an instructor or email them, and we'll be more than happy to uh, you know, answer any of your questions for you. Right? Right, thanks and have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.